plus 40 ship, seconds. It's tower, one hell of a sight from here. We see it arcing right over top of us. We see 33 out of 33 Raptor engines lit on Super Heavy as it starts to ascend skyward. Coming up on maximum aerodynamic pressure, then only about a minute and a half until we get into hot staging. Wow, Dan, that was incredible. <laughs> we could feel the building shaking here, feel the, the vehicle's power. Now we're just about a minute away from shutting down those engines on the booster. Again, this booster is flying for its second time today. All right, so hot staging coming up a little under a minute. We're gonna see all but the three center engines turn off on the booster. So our version of Miko, most engines cut off. And then just a few seconds later, hoping to see six engines ignite on ship to push it away. All right, hot staging, about 30 seconds. And definitely keep an eye on which way the booster flips. First ever directional flip we're going for today should flip straight up. See those engines powering down? Booster engine cut off. Ship ignition. Stage separation. Incredible flip by Super Heavy Booster, and you can see those six engines, those three engines on the ship ignited. Six healthy Raptors <laughs> running on ship on its way to space. Peak that engine view. Booster doing the boost back. Chris, how's it looking over there in Hawthorne, man? It is looking Raptor awesome. chamber pressure is nominal. It is looking absolutely incredible here in Hawthorne. As we said, six healthy engines on ship. We've got 13 out of 13 engines on the booster. Now down to those three, which is what we expect in the final moments of the boost back burn. Now, as a reminder, we are not recovering the super heavy booster today. We are instead going to do booster some- Booster restart, shut down. And there we had a good shutdown of the boost back burn. Next up will be the jettison of that hot stage ship ring. avionics power and telemetry nominal. Great call out there that everything looking nominal aboard the super heavy vehicle, which is returning to Earth. And we're going to be doing some experiments with it, including a higher angle of attack re-entry, uh, as well as some engine tests as it gets closer to the Gulf. We are, again, because of these tests not recovering it, we are sending it to the Gulf on purpose to do those tests. But again, you see the booster on the left-hand side of your screen. You see ship with six healthy engines continuing its ascent to its planned suborbital trajectory. Uh, everything going very well so far for Starship's ninth flight. Now uh, four minutes, 15 seconds in. Great views from inside of the uh, aft engine area of ship there, looking at those uh, three sea level and three Raptor engines on the right-hand side of your screen. The booster doing its LOX dump, that liquid oxygen dump. So because we don't need some of that liquid oxygen propellant in its tanks, we vent that propellant out to lessen the booster's mass as it comes in for its landing. Just absolutely gorgeous views watching these two vehicles do their respective things in the skies over Texas here today. And Dan, we're approaching the five minute mark into the flight. Super Heavy is descending rapidly. Uh, what can we expect here in the next few minutes as it does no, its I'm atmospheric directly. tests? Yeah, now as we had talked about, Super Heavy might not have a very smooth ride down. We're gonna be putting <laughs> it through this higher angle of attack. So we're kind of pitching it up a tiny bit, increasing drag. We've done this in wind tunnels. We've done this in computer modeling. It shows that sometimes the control isn't great, uh, but only one way to really prove it out, and that's to get real world data. So here comes Super Heavy. It should be igniting for its landing burn in just about 40 seconds from now. 
and we are going to relight 13 engines, then bring that down to three engines. As, as, as we talked about earlier, we will be intentionally sure shutting down. We will be shutting down one of those three center engines intentionally to push the limits of the super heavy booster. Super Raptor chamber pressure is nominal. And continuing to see six healthy engines on the ship, three sea level and three vacuum engines still ignited as the super heavy booster is making its way back down to earth. We can see those grid fins doing some heavy work. Booster landing start up. Ignited for our landing burn. It may have ended with that landing burn. Does look like we lost telemetry from the booster once we started into that landing burn. Did you see her confirmation that the booster did demise? So the booster's flight ending before it was able to get through landing burn, but again, we are not bringing that back. We we're expecting it to make a hard splash down in the Gulf. We were getting live data back the entire time through that high angle of attack flight. So that was something that was really vital for us to get during this reuse. First free flight of booster in the books. All right, ship has about two minutes left. 